Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch King. Today's video is about what I promised this channel to be. We invited a very cool watchmaker to the show. Hello, Andre, nice to see you and welcome hey, to the studio. Hey. So this is the guy behind the brand Hodinki Berkus on Instagram and also on his website, which you can see all of his beautiful creations. We spoke about your brand once in the video already, yeah. where we covered five different watch brands people don't usually know. So I'm super happy to have you here in the flesh and obviously also the watches. I'm happy to make the trip. I'm happy to be here. How have you been? How was uh, the last year for you, let's say, for your, for your business? Last year, last year, last year, it started uh, as a normal year where, you know, I'm making just a few watches, I make them by hand. And yeah. uh, the thing is, for the past 10 years, we were always a bit afraid if we're gonna make it next year, yeah. if everything is gonna go well. And last Christmas, I have no idea what I did. Honestly, <laughs> and maybe it's the awesome new photographer I started to work with yeah. and the general consensus is, okay, let him take the pictures. Yeah. Don't go anywhere near camera yeah. yourself ever again, yeah. okay? But he started taking the pictures of my watches. I posted one watch yeah. and over Christmas, and my girlfriend was pretty much mad at me all the time because I was on my phone all the time, all the time, <laughs> responding to people all the time. And over Christmas, my wedding list went from, okay, maybe we will survive next year yeah. to 2025. Nice. And it's still Great. growing. It's, it, I, I have no idea what happened. Yeah. I'm glad it did, but very eventful last year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I've seen the rise. I mean, we've spoken a lot on Instagram before, yeah. even before I covered you, before you came here. So I've seen also like uh, when I inquired about a watch, you said, yeah, it's now a longer waiting list. So I'm super happy to hear that. And I really am I'm happy for you and for the brand as well. Thank you. So for people who don't know, how did you start with watchmaking actually? Because you're not in Switzerland, uh, you're in I'm, the I'm, Czech Republic, I'm right? I'm not in Switzerland. I'm a failed law student okay. basically. Okay. And I started with watchmaking. I started with knife making when yeah. I was 18 years old and then quickly took over after I got kicked out of law school I went full time and after a few years the knives uh, are fun but yeah. they the, even the folding knives even the automatic knives they started to get a little bit boring mm -hmm. and one day one evening we're sitting we're not exactly sober and someone <laughs> might have been me said I would like to have a watch but not, not a watch everyone can go and buy, like go to a store because I had the watch at the time. Yeah. And in a week I saw three other people wearing it. I'm like, ah, that's, that's not for me. Yeah. But the watches that not really anyone can buy are very expensive. Yes. And my dad sitting next to me, he's like, oh, well, you're making knives, make a watch. Yeah. How hard can it be? Uh, very, yeah, <laughs> very. But I didn't Thanks, know, Dad. <laughs> but because, because I tried, because I didn't know it's, it's yeah, hard, you know? Of course. So I made uh, a gigantic, disgusting titanium brick. <laughs> <laughs> but but the bug was in the system, you know. Yeah. I, I got I got the bug and yeah, the infection and I, spread. Yeah, right? it spread and I made another one and I made another one. And basically I started with time only which is like this mm -hmm. one, which uh, I only made the case. Yeah. I put, uh, you know, that classic buy a Chinese movement on eBay, mm -hmm. buy, a, buy a dial on put eBay, it together. put it together. Then I started adding my own dials because I work with Damascus steel for the knives and I yeah. thought, well, I'm going to make a Damascus dial because that, that should be fun. I started making hands and, and it was very popular at the time. I decided to put the dial off center on one of those yeah. movements yeah. and I started playing with the gears and I was hooked. <laughs> it was okay cutting teeth and and gears and everything that's my life from now on I'm, I'm not doing anything else nice and so i started you know doing more and more movement work like adding date yeah. indication and power reserve, power reserve oh, yeah. indication exactly and then with the absolutely awesome and incredible customer base mm -hmm. that support me and they push me toward push me forwards yeah i started getting more and more complicated like i did a perpetual calendar yes uh, with the meteorite sub dials blue and uh, that's titanium on titanium. that on that was nice. this titanium uh which as it turns out is the first perpetual wristwatch uh made in czech republic nice i also made uh, a tourbillon wristwatch yeah. which as it turns out is the first tourbillon wristwatch <laughs> in czech republic <laughs> at least 
to the extent of yes. like the research of my course. friends uh, in the Czech media data don't hold me to it you know yeah. it can be wrong but comment down below if you know any others huh? yeah right we'd be surprised <laughs> and uh, then I did the one second remontoire yeah I did uh, the this this little double balance thing. Mm -hmm. So this is a double balance, it's not a resonance, right? It's not a resonance, it's a double balance with the differential in between mm -hmm. that splits the torque yeah. and averages the rates of the two balances with the differential being set up in a way that it really splits the torque equally. Mm -hmm. So for people who don't know your process, because every watch we see here on the table, as you guys also notice, is a, is a piece unique, so how does a order process work with you because from what I understand it's basically you I write to you and I say hey I want to have a tourbillon remontoire we need to repeat and you say yeah yeah cool sounds good let's do it <laughs> yeah absolutely short version what you just said exactly longer version uh, people reach out to me yeah we talk uh, and these days and I'm very grateful mm -hmm. for for the trust of my clients mm -hmm. I used to be just the guy uh, bringing my clients vision to life mm -hmm. okay and, but the, it's not that much fun yeah I need some creativity mm -hmm. so these days I'm getting less and less input from the clients mm. basically just the size and his favorite colors maybe they send me favorite watches they've seen mm -hmm. from me and I just sit with the notepad and design for them nice and usually it's like second try max yeah and they say yeah this is it let's make it perfect which is great i mean the support i'm getting with this you know it's not just the machining and everything that i enjoy but it's the creativity and the outlet as well, right? exactly and, and yeah. the people so basically the watches start from let's say simple yeah. time only watch What's, and I see guilloche dial as well? Uh, that's not a guilloche, okay. I actually engraved this by hand. <laughs> uh, this, this, was, this was a bit of, uh, bit of a quick job for a very good client. Yeah. Uh, he asked me to do it as a favor and nice. I said, okay, but I'm not getting guilloche done in that time, not a chance. Nice. So I had, uh, I had the grid laser engraved, just yeah. a tiny little yeah. deep the markings right? yeah. just the marking so i don't have to mark it myself <laughs> and then i say in, in uh, under well, let's microscope do this. and well, let's do this and i engrave wow. this looks very cool uh, by the way and what's Thank the you. and the hands are also custom which again yeah. i didn't see like yeah. page shaped hands blue to titanium all of it or steel uh these are steel steel hands and also the mini track and the yeah. hour track yeah and the case back is engraved as well? Yeah. It's a unitas movement or do you cut the bridges yourself? Uh, these bridges are handmade. Uh, wow. The main plate, if you look around the balance, the main plate is actually a blue titanium. Wow. It's almost invisible it under is, all yeah. the bridges, but it is there. It's a little detail. It's, huh? it's a little something. So, so let's say, what's the starting point with your watches? Uh, I assume it would be something in this category. The starting point for something like this is around 9,000 euros. Yeah. And again, handmade stuff, right? The yeah. case isn't, I assume, by you, uh, but the dial the, movement, everything is, or is the case as well? Or on this one, on this simple, like, time-only watch, only the gear train and the balance is from other sources. You made the case as well? I make the case, I make the <laughs> dial, I make the hands, I make the For movement. For 9,000 euros, bridges. Huh? Yeah. Nice. I, ha I have inexpensive lifestyle. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, uh, you know, I live in the middle of nowhere. Jesus. And yeah. as long as I have enough to feed my horses, I'm, I'm good. I'm <laughs> That's good. it. Uh, so you have this, which is a time only. And then you have a double balance wheel, basically yeah. watch. Um, resonance, I assume, is coming. So if anybody wants one, he loves a challenge. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't send any more people my way, man. <laughs> to go <laughs> and then we have a very special watch which uh, yes. is from a very um, good friend of ours yeah somebody who i met online and uh, at the watches and wonders academy event i finally met him in person i didn't know how he looks so i was talking to another watchmaker and there was a guy that basically uh, came in the frame and did this and i'm like who are you you know i mean in my mind i was like who the hell is this guy and then he did like this and I saw the watch and I'm like, I know the watch. So this is from a guy to watch or common friend, which yeah. will, will remain not named. 
how long did this take? What's the price point in the materials? This one took about, I don't know, one and a half year yeah. to make, because from this this is my... Conception to yeah, finalization. From, right? from what we started talking about mm -hmm. to the finished watch, it's my first remontoire yeah. with uh, Deadbeat Second and, uh, <laughs> and a date. Re retrograde date. Yeah. The case is meteorite, yeah. the Beautiful. dial is meteorite. And uh, blue. Blood, yeah. Blood meteorite. Because the meteorite is basically iron, so yeah. you heat it up, it it blues just like steel. Beautiful. And the uh, hands are made by you as well. All this yeah, thing. absolutely. Blood. The decoration on the main plate, huh? Yeah. And the case pack as well, very unique. Yeah. Also hand finished by you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> What's the price one of something like this? Something similar. Yeah would be, I don't know, 15, 16,000. Yeah, so an entirely handmade watch. <laughs> now that I'm looking at I have no words, yeah. I, now that I'm looking at your face uh, talking about the prices, I think I'm, maybe I'm doing something very wrong here. So it's 25 to 50. <laughs> exactly what he said. What he said. Yeah. Contact Swiss watch guy. I'm kidding. Just go to him. This is amazing, man. Again, I when I saw your watches, and, and yes, the, the new pictures do make a big difference because you can finally see really how it looks. And you always do like a lot of behind the scenes showing, you know, the process of making the watch on your Instagram account with your reels and everything. Uh, the, the Instagram, the work in progress mm -hmm. pictures, I also like to show my failures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when you mess up something, you just, you know, you look at yourself and you go, dude, you got to make it better. I've been making knives for 18 years. I've mm -hmm. been making watches for, for 12 years. And people come to me now and they tell me, oh, dude, you're so talented. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I, no, my only talent is that I don't give up. I, I yeah. mess something up. I just go back and start again. And when I made that first perpetual calendar, mm. I remade the whole thing like three times. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, you started like at a very high end. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I worked through all the all, all the hurdles and everything. Yeah. And now this one, this one even has my own balance, you know, yeah. because, because it's I, I always wanted blue titanium balance. Yes, yes, I love it. It looks and, amazing. And this one, uh, the owner uh, of this one, when he sent me his list of preferences, he's like, I, I like big balances. And I'm like, okay, the gear train is from yeah. the usual tractor movement, six, four, nine, seven, this is based on. The balance is pretty big, mm -hmm. but I say, I'm gonna rearrange the gears. Yeah. I'm gonna put, for legal purposes, it's 15.9 millimeter. <laughs> okay. Because I don't wanna get sued by Anybody the Swiss. Anybody wants to go there, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 let's, let's, let's just <laughs> gloss over it, okay? And so I did this one. And once I, once I put it together and started running, and yeah. I saw the big balance, uh, which uh, we call this the BFB. Mm -hmm. And I, for the, purposes of YouTube not getting us banned. Can't say what that means, but it's a big beep balance. And when I saw it, I said, I gotta, I gotta put that in, to yeah. be on. Yes. I, just, I just have to. Yes. And so that's the origin of that one. Wow which is a 19 millimeter tourbillon. Well, this one is called the BFT and you can just make out what, the, what it means. Right? Comment down below, right? Yeah, comment down below, please. Bleep the F part. Just put the little... Asterisk and hashtags. Yeah, hashtag. something like that. And this is a 19 millimeter tourbillon wow. in a 39 millimeter case. Amazing. I <laughs> love it. I wanted to do the tourbillon half of the case diameter, yeah. but it just... I couldn't, Too much. I couldn't fit the barrels and just what? make the case smaller. <laughs> Did you, look from the back, look how thin the case is. Yeah. Ah. Right? That's just. And what's the material? That's tantalum. Tantalum, huh? Yeah. So for all your tantalum freaks out there who want to get a chromatre bleu and other watches, it's your guy. So what would a tourbillon be? I mean, which price point would a tourbillon be at? Approximately. Uh, a tourbillon. It's a, not finished, but like a simple time-only tourbillon would be thirty grand and up, nice. at least. Because I mean, one point of thinking is uh, okay. It's just adding some more moving parts. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the tourbillon cage, it's yeah. it's so fragile and so thin, and the components are so tiny, and the finishing on them is really difficult. So yeah. it's basically like 
a whole another movement sure. inside a movement because normally you would say it would be twice the normal yeah. time only watch but of it's course, so yeah. much more because of the finishing and everything no, of course i mean all the prices you you tell me and my audience is used to high prices because we do cover mainly independence from yeah. all uh, you know walks of life i think it's very reasonable not yeah. reasonable i would say it's very affordable yeah again if you collect watches and you have a few watches in your collection already maybe you went into the independent route or maybe a piece unique route you would know that this is very affordable pricing again okay. yeah uh, so if you want some a watch from him <laughs> swamp him and this is not a time only watch i see two gongs uh, I mean, two hammers and a gong, a spiral here at six o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Because what is this? This the spiral. I, I love the spiral because a you can put more metal mm -hmm. in a smaller space. Yeah. And b look at it. It's you cool. Know, it's, it's cool. cool. It's, cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. And it's gonna have uh, the second hand because you can notice a little hole in the center of the gongs. Yeah. There will be the second hand. Yes. And you will see the underside of the second hand reflecting in the gongs nice. as it's going over them. So be sure to polish that. Huh? Yeah. Because we've got right? an Instagram guy, Horo Mario, bro, who always goes so deep into these under, yeah. underhand uh, challenges. Yeah, so absolutely. Also for people just to know, these are all unfinished watches, except this one basically and, and this, this one, one correct? Yeah. So. Yeah. And also, if you want a different type of finishing, they can tell you and you make it basically. Yeah, yeah, Frosted, exactly. brushed, whatever the idea is. So how does this watch work or what are the, the hammers for? This, uh, and it's going to sound like marketing, so I'm sorry in advance, <laughs> okay? Because I don't do marketing, but uh, this is a simple little reminder for you to be happy every yeah. 15 minutes, okay. basically. Okay. Because the complication is completely useless, yes. you know, yeah. as, as most complications are. Basically. Except for maybe the power reserve. And uh, this gong on the left yeah. or right, depends on what mm -hmm. side are you looking, uh, that dings at 15, 30 and 45. Yes. And then the other one dings at 60. Yeah. Like so the, the, hours, the, the huh? top of the hour. It's like a passing repetition complication in a way. Exactly. Or passage. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And there's a button to turn it off yeah. if you want to, you know, get some sleep. And, ah, and, nice. and actually, this is going to come with like a little elliptical box yeah. in thin wood. Yeah. Uh, and when the owner is not wearing it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to serve as a sort of a tablecloth. Nice. And it dings nicely. But if you put it, you can even put it like on uh, an empty Tupperware. Yeah. And it fills the room. Really? It's fantastic. Nice. Can we chime it? Can yeah, you uh, maybe demonstrate? Put uh, closer to your mic. I mean, beautiful job. I'm not proud very often, but this one <laughs> I am. Proud. But this is it. Eh? This one is it. And the size Absolutely. is also great. I mean, this again isn't finished yet, so it doesn't chime exactly at a uh, given um, time it should. So don't give us any bad comments about that. Or but do he, freedom of speech. Go exactly. ahead. Exactly. I'll ban all of you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so how much would something like this be approximately? Uh, pretty much the same as this. I, you know, I have uh, I have like a little bit of price list to yeah. guide myself saw through it. it. Right. This was the, the funniest price list I ever saw. It's a notebook basically yeah, yeah. with like a build it yourself system yeah like when you <laughs> like when you specify a car because yes. that's you know cars are close to me yeah i love cars so, yes. so i build it the same way and it is basically just for me uh so i don't have to remember stuff yeah yeah you know? so it's a basic price starts at, at what what's the, at, the minimum at, at the nine grand nine. pretty much and then each complication material balance adds, will adds to it adds a bit yeah. to it which is awesome and very transparent. When I saw it, I was like, yeah. wow, this is, I never seen this. Yeah. Because usually you get, uh, this is the watch, this is the price. And you have to figure out uh, whatever you have yeah. to. But and, so, and sometimes it just sounds like they're pulling it out of their out of thin air, yes. pocket. Yes. And I think when I also saw the price list you showed me, it was cool because I asked you, okay, can we combine these four complications? You're like, yeah. 
So and in my mind, I just had to basically do a bit of math and that's it. I knew the yeah, price. Yeah. It wasn't like, let me get back to you in two weeks and figure out whatever. And yeah, then yeah. when you give the price, you're surprised. No, you, you saw the numbers. Yeah. Maybe there's a deviation of 1K, 2K, whatever for yeah. finishing balance wheels, but it's very transparent. And I love the sizing as well, because with custom watches, it could have gone the other way. I, I hate how every single or every other uh, custom made watch has to be huge. Yes, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, very wearable, huh? like a 45 millimeter watch with a 14 or 13 millimeter tourbillon. Mm -hmm. uh, and why are you wasting the space yeah. like that? Yeah, true. And you know, even though I have farm hands, yeah, you know, <laughs> like, uh, you know, finally someone your size on the yes, channel. Yes, it's right? nice to be in the same level. Right? <laughs> I have I have very unwatchmaker like hands. Yes, <laughs> but uh, even with my wrists, uh, I actually the most I enjoyed wearing the watch yeah. because I I only get to wear a watch for two weeks or so when I'm testing it for a client. Mm -hmm. I don't wear a watch because I'm mm -hmm. always around machines or horses yeah. and this is just a, not a good environment it, yeah. for, you know. It's this one on the wall, yeah. the Minion, mm -hmm. because when you turn it, yes. uh, it looks like the, the Minion from, from, the picture, from the Despicable Me. <laughs> and this is 36 millimeters. Yes. And I put it on my wrist and I, and I said to the dude who, who ordered it, can I, can I, I actually, you know what, You're I like, actually, I, I actually went to deliver it <laughs> and, uh, and I sat down with him and I'm like, okay, you know, it's, it's ready for delivery, but can you let me keep it for like two more weeks? I, I gotta enjoy it. He lives like 300 kilometers from me. So I went there yeah. just to tell him he can't have the watch yet because I'm, I'm mentally not yet done with it. Ready to let it go. Yeah. yeah Cause it's and like he, babies. Huh? And he's like, you know, I have other watches to wear. Yes. Keep it as long as nice. you want. He's very cool. Yeah, he, he's a good friend. I know him as well. Yeah. He's a super cool guy. And yes, he has sick watches. He's yeah. somebody who I really look up to in terms of collecting as well. Yeah. So Andre, thank you so much for, for coming to Zurich, for letting me show the audience all these cool watches. And if somebody wants to order a watch, basically just go on his website or Instagram. It's the best way, maybe. Or the what the, do you, what the do you website is like a prehistoric okay. piece of design. So it, new it, website coming? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, man, I don't have a website, I have cards, I don't, I don't have anything. I, I just have uh, clients talking about yeah. me everywhere and that's it. But you know, Instagram is, is yes, good. It's perfect, yeah. Reach out to me on Instagram, I'm going to give you a, a number to my WhatsApp. Because yeah. Instagram for me, it's a like a huge pile of mess yes. these days. I'm sure, I'm I, sure. I don't even know who People I'm writing reacting to. People to stories, etc. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's terrible for me. I'm losing track of everything. Yeah. But WhatsApp is good. But honestly, I'm losing my mind already as it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm very grateful, but it can be tiring at, Reach out. at times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, so listen, thank you so much. Now you guys know where to find him. And if you have some questions, leave a comment down below. I'm going to make sure that I answer also. If I have some questions, I'm going to ask you to answer the comment as well. Thank you so much for coming thank again. You. I wish it was, you it was all the best. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you. And guys, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Also, make sure to support Andre on his endeavors. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.